Okay, back here inside the Cube, live in New York City. I'm John Furrier with Dave Vellante. This is the Cube, our flagship program, where we go out to the events, in some cases, create events. Big Data New York City is our first event, and we're excited to have uh, Bruno back on the Cube. And we, but we're here in Big Data Week in New York City. Big Data New York City is really about covering Hadoop World uh, and Strata Conference and all the activity going around. I was, I'm, I'm actually writing a blog post kind of right now. It's open in my browser, Dave, and it's talking about how how it's changed in four years. And uh, Bruno, welcome back to theCUBE in a new role. So yeah. tell us first about the new role. Welcome back. Thank uh, you. Chief Marketing Officer. You yeah. get promoted, you keep on getting promoted. <laughs> no, thanks you know, for, come on, every time. Thanks, thanks for having me. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a very uh, cool, interesting company. And I think you, you know the stuff that motivates me is to go after big problems. And uh, so uh, Alpine uh, Data Labs is, is a company that focuses on advanced analytics on Hadoop and big data. And we essentially go after a, a market that I think the advanced analytics market really hasn't progressed over the last 30 years. And you know, like incumbents that you know, built software in the 80s that has worked well and it's generated a lot of revenue for them, but unfortunately has limited the access to advanced analytics for people across the organization. And so that's what we're about. We're about making advanced uh, analytics accessible by having access to it on the web, having access to it without having to script your way through it. You can uh, drag and drop and start building complex math using simple tools. And we run all of that on Hadoop. We send instructions to, to your data source and your data environment so you don't have to also uh, deal with issues like data extract or moving data around so you can analyze it. So tell about the show here, obviously it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's packed out, so it's a sellout again, this is just going to get bigger and bigger. Yeah. Um, but talk about the dynamics involved in like the industry. Yeah. I mean, we've been, Dave and I, have touched talking, it's our fourth Hadoop world. Yeah. Um, yeah. Now Strata's coming to the game. So it's been the confluence of business meets the products and technology. Yeah. What's your take so far? So, I, I mean, it's been quite amazing. And I will say for me, New York is is probably the flagship one. You know, I mean, I think you have the, the Santa Clara one. I think New York is a really great indication of what's going on with customers in financial services, healthcare, manufacturing. They kind of all come here. And what I'm seeing, I mean, today I was uh, with Cloudera and, and I was looking at what they were doing. And they're really starting to now get a sense of it's about the business. The business is now getting it. It's the line of business. They've invested in this data uh, platform and environment. Now we need to go to the line of business and provide solutions for this data platform. So how this translates for us, of course, we have churn prediction, product recommendation models, and so forth that really help the business analysts, the data scientists, to do something with the data. I think now customers are ready to do that. And so really, I think 2014 is going to be the year of big data applications, and I think they're really going to explode. And this is great timing, because I think everybody's planning for that. Talk about the Alpine situation where you're at yeah. now. What attracted you to go there? I mean, you had a hot company where yeah. you were at before. Yeah. I mean, they're breaking the physics. We just see some stories here. I just put a little post up here. You know, CSENS breaks the rules yeah. of physics. You were there. You actually did a great job for those guys. Um, was it a case of just another great op opportunity for yeah. you? Share some of the insights of the switch. Yeah, I had a ton of fun at CSENS. CSENS is a company that's on fire and it's going to explode. Yeah, I like you. Uh, you said today they're breaking the laws of physics. <laughs> so you know, there's a lot of innovation, great technology. In, in the case of, of Alpine, what I saw is, first of all, the technology is just insane uh, in terms of how it's helping customers. I mean, when I, when I interviewed with them, I talked to their customers and their board members, and it was clear to me that there was very, very strong technology and a space that really hasn't been disturbed. You know, I think if you look at what I've done at SciSense, you know, it was very disruptive in the end memory world. Alpine is disruptive in the advanced analytics world. And, and I think if you look at the evolution of the space, that is going to be the next hot thing. Advanced analytics on Hadoop, on big data, is a barrier that we really haven't uh, broken through. And that's what motivated me. There's really nothing wrong with SciSense. Um, it's a very exciting company. I'm still in touch with my friends there, and I'll do everything I can to help them. Uh, at the same time, Alpine was just one of those opportunities where I could see the market opportunities. Software is very solid. The company needed a marketer, and so you know that was a great match. Got an interesting collection of inv investors uh, yes. as well at Alpine Data Labs, in, in, in addition to others, but including EMC and uh, and Stanford. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so it's a it's a company that's really uh, rooted in in the Silicon Valley. I mean, one of our so we have Sierra Ventures with Mission Ventures yeah. at Sierra. We have uh, Tim Guleri, who y you might know, uh, sold this company for uh, three point two billion dollars. Uh, 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 to Epiphany, so we're really surrounded by people with big brains, lots of experience, and the team I is really um, based on data science. I mean, we the first week that I got there, I'll just I'll give you the uh, the story. Is this guy called uh, Will Will Ford, and he's one of the really smartest data scientists I've, I've I've met, 
and very outgoing and so forth. And I said, you know what? We should do a show every week with you because you have so much knowledge. So we created this Wednesday with Will. So every Wednesday at 9 a.m., we do Wednesday with Will. He just opens his laptop and he says, what do you want to do? Customer retention modeling? I'll do it. And we have this culture where we just have so many people inside the company building the products that just want to share the knowledge. And it's really nice uh, to be working in an environment like that. Does he do horse racing? He does <laughs> not do that, but if uh, I can put you in touch. But it's actually kind of funny. So we've done it. Uh, I just joined the company, right? So we've done it maybe three or four times now. And uh, we were showing up at a customer <laughs> uh, a meeting, and he became this very famous data scientist. Like somebody said, wait, you're the Will from Wednesday with Will Will? <laughs> <laughs> and, so, uh, and so I think, you know, I think it's really cool to so work in So what do you got like going that. on across the street? I mean, we're right, yeah. right here at the Warwick uh, StratiConf and Hadoop World is going on, uh, on at the Hilton. Yeah. It's directly across the street. What, what do you got going there? So we've got lots going on, actually. I'm very happy with what's going on with Alpine and uh, Strata. Uh, first of all, we have our booth. So it's booth uh, number 52. We're uh, doing lots of cool stuff. We're announcing uh, Alpine 3.0, which is uh, the, the version of our product that uh, features uh, web-based, uh, scriptless, and directly on Hadoop uh, in cluster analytics. Uh, so that's one. We also have an in Ignite talk tonight about why women make better data scientists. Yes, uh, our chief product officer is going to do that, and that should be pretty funny. We also are part of the uh, startup showcase uh, competition. We're one of the 12 companies, I think, that was selected by the um, the advisors to, to uh, show up there. So uh, my team is out there doing that right now. And then we have customer meetings. We have Barclays and Havis and Scala, which are companies using our software today, uh, talking to the press and customers and other prospects. We've got lots and lots of things going on. You, you won the startup showcase last year. With Sysense yeah. last year, yep. yeah. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. So why do... So hopefully it can happen again. We're, yeah, good luck with that. So <laughs> we're stoked. We have uh, Hillary Mason coming on it tomorrow. Um, yeah. You know, former head data scientist yeah. at Bitly, right? Now Now Hillary doesn't like uh, talking about women in technology, so don't bring that up to her. So why? <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so well, I'm sure she gets... Well, we, 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 when we interviewed her the first time, we went deep. I mean, we didn't have to go there. She demonstrated yeah, why she's, she's yeah. in technology. Yeah. She's awesome. So, so why do women make better data scientists? Well, so there's a few, there's a few things. Uh, so it's a, it's a subject that's very close to our... Um, a chief product officer's heart, where he had this experience, his PhD from Berkeley, he had this experience of um, this lady that was uh, supposed to get a tenure and, and a job at the faculty, and she was disqualified because one of the people making the decision uh, noticed that she went to a women's college. And it turns out that uh, if you scratch under the surface, that women's college was the place where Margaret Thatcher and Gandhi went to. And so he feels like there's a lot of prejudice uh, in this profession. now. Um, when you scratch and you look at the data, it turns out there's a lot more women than any other field in IT involved in data science. And if you look at salary, they actually end up making more money than men. And so really, when it comes to data science, according to the data, you know, woman is the future of the man here. And so we're trying to do this well funny we've, we've brought that talk. up. We've, we've brought that up pretty yeah. much every year, Dave, here on theCUBE. So, I mean, we, that's something that we're watching, and we were just yeah. talking earlier about the data scientist number estimated about 200,000 data scientists yeah. in the world about two million analysts. Yep. And that that analyst population will be data scientists. So exactly. tools to make that yep. easier will be yeah. not just men. It's going to be a variety of... Yeah, and it has, I mean, that has to be the way we expand, right? We can't create more people just like the, you know, the data scientists that are typical here. I think, you know, what we see for customer sites, it's probably one data scientist to about 100 uh, business analysts. So the opportunity in the business analyst realm is is huge, and we know that there is frustration in these biz business analysts that are being told by data scientists that you know they shouldn't put their hands on this complicated math thing. Well, it turns out I think in the past we've devised software that has created the silos, and so I think we got to go out and fix that now. Okay. Well, I want to ask you uh, to wrap up because we got Dave. <laughs> got sure. a, Dave and I are really got a brainstormer and want to wrap up, and then we got the Red Sox game. Of course, we want to take away from that. And I know I, nothing about it's baseball. It's a good. So. Well, it's about forty-five minutes until the first pitch, but we'll, <laughs> we'll keep an eye on the time. Um, uh -huh. What's your perspective of what's going to be at the show? What are you expecting here? Yeah. I mean, obviously, you get the inside baseball because you're involved in the event. And you're inside the ropes there. Um, what are you expecting this week here? Well, so I think what's going on is you've got the big guys, right? You've got the Cloudera, you've got the distro guys that are, are bound to make announces that I think are driving the rest of the ecosystem to think about what, what do we want to do next. So that's what I'm going to look for is what's happening on the distro side and what's happening on the application side. Um, on the application side, you know, I haven't been too surprised, but like I was saying earlier, 
I think 2014 is the year for that. And so I would expect that some companies are going to make some announcement. I mean, I think I talked about mine. Um, but I think that's where we're going to shift now. If you go to Santa Clara and look forward, I think we're going to start talking less about the data infrastructure and more about the apps. Dave, your take on this? Well, you know, that's interesting because Mike Olson, you know, a couple years ago now at yeah. uh, Hadoop World made that prediction. So this is the year of the app. And, uh, you know, one has to ask, where are all the big data apps? Yeah. And so, yeah. You know, I think eventually, w when we keep saying that, because I've yeah. said it as well, Jeff Kelly predicted it uh, you know, two, two yeah. years ago. You know, keep two, waiting 2012 for it. was a year of big data. So I think if we, if we keep predicting it, it's going to happen. It has to happen, <laughs> right? Because it's just, it's taken a while because the infrastructure needs to get built out. It needs to get steady. It needs to get enterprise ready. You need other tool yeah. sets and, you know, robustness of an ecosystem. It's starting to happen. There's no question and about it. And it seems that people are going with the data platform and they're experimenting. So they're doing some discovery. You know, I think what's happening now, they got to the maturity of going after the killer app, right? Analytics is the killer app of big data. We just need to start seeing more and more of those use cases out there. Yeah, and you know, everybody talks about the skill sets gap. Well, it's been a couple of years now. People yeah. are bringing in those skills, training people. Uh, people are, are uh, you know, Humans are autodidactic in a way too. Yeah. They can teach themselves, and so I think you're seeing a lot of self-learning going on yeah. uh, in the in the community. So, um, so let's say 2014 is the year of uh, the big data apps. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> okay, Bruno, thanks for coming inside the cube. This is the cube. We'll be right back. Dave and I will wrap up day one. We got two more days of live coverage, wall to wall, and of course Tuesday night we're going to be offering commemorative cube shot classes for our big data party. Again, we go out to the events, in some cases create our own events. So tomorrow night. Happy hour party from 6 to 8 in New York City at the Warwick Hotel. If you're a CUBE alumni, you can just walk right in. We'll know oh, who nice. you are. You have free pass, no problem. And get the commemorative shot classes. I'll so be there uh, for we'll that. see you tomorrow. Uh, we'll be right back with a wrap up after this short break. Thank you.